Johnson with the grind. We are at Midway Barbecue located at 6025 Highway Boulevard in Old Katy. This is the first segment of our Top Prospect interview series. Today we will sit down with number 9, Nick Narcisse, the 6'3", 215-pound defensive end and third-year letterman from Katy. Hi, my name is Carrie and I'm Anne Marie and this episode of the Top Prospects by the Grind is brought to you by Texas Acceleration. Go to www.hsgrind.com for more information. Nick, how are you doing today? Doing good. Okay, um, Nick, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, you came from Louisiana in 2006. Tell us a little bit about how you got to Katy. Well, it started, we left before the storm came, and we started out in Houston at the Omni Hotel, and we moved, we moved around like from hotel to hotel, and so my mom finally went to her job, which they transferred out here, and so we had to look for a house, and we looked around for a while, and we had to find one so my mom could go out into a job and not to worry about going to a far place and stuff like that. So we found a house in Katy that we all agreed on, and we all just moved in. So did you know about Katie and the tradition that was here at the time? I did not know about Katie at all. I just thought it was another city. So I came here and then I went to Katie Junior High in eighth grade. And I was like, there's another football team. I thought I was just going to go on there. Probably like play a lot of positions like we did in Louisiana. But then I realized that it was a big football school, which I did not know. I thought it was another team or something like that. And start right there. So was you, did you go to a K football game first, or did you go to another school's game? I went to I went to a seven race game at Rhodes. I didn't know. I just I thought they were a good team or something like that. So they they were playing like a four A school or something like that. So I thought it was a bit too big, five A powerhouses. So I watched that. And then were you impressed with the facility? Yeah, I really like Rhodes because. It's nice, they have a nice field and everything. It's just nice clothes and it's like different from what you had in Louisiana? Yeah, it's real different. It's like it's like real Friday night life. <laughs> so then tell us about your first experience at a Katie football game. I went to one in when in 07 when they played Klein and I walked in and then saw all the Katie fans and that I was shocked because I had never seen that many people in one spot. And then I saw them cheer after Trent Hunter ran the first kickoff back. And right then and there, that's when I knew I wanted to be part of that and play on that team and everything, feel the same thing they felt. Well, that's awesome. You've done pretty well for yourself. You've started as a sophomore. Um, tell us a little bit about that, your sophomore year coming out of being a freshman. Oh, my sophomore year, uh, my freshman year was not that good because I got hurt. And then, like in the off season, I just worked hard and everything. And spring ball came, and I pressed, the, I pressed the coaches a lot. And then they decided that I was gonna be on JV, but then we had a couple other people fall off. So then I went to varsity, and I started my first varsity game against North Shore, which I didn't even know. I didn't even know I was gonna go in that game. When I went in, yeah, I, I got rocked. Didn't do that good, but then I got used to it, and I got a sack and. Then I, then I got into my groove and felt it that way. And you started the next game and made player of the game for the Katie Times? Yeah, I started against when we played a team from Florida Side Bay. And I was all over the field, blocked the kick, and had a sack and a couple tackles, and I made player of the game. And after that, I just kept it going from there. Well, in 2008, you were first team all district. Um, you know, between 2008 and 2009, you had 60 tackles with 46 assisted tackles, 19 sacks, 6 fumbles, 7 broken up passes and a block kick. That's a pretty impressive stat sheet for just being a junior. What do you expect for next year? Well, next year, I told myself, I'm going to just go and leave it all on the field this time. So it's going to be my last year. I just want to go out and hope I have the best stats I ever had and bring all my stats up in like two years, the last two years. Okay. Well, it's public knowledge that over the uh, after the season ended, you were discovered to have a uh, rare form of cancer. Tell us a little bit about this cancer. Everybody wants to know if you're going to play next year and how the treatments are going to work out and how you're going to do. So tell us a little bit. Yeah, the cancer is a, it's a long name. I really can't remember what it is. But it's a cancer that starts in your nasal passage at the uppermost part of your throat. And I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it at first. And we did biopsies and all that. And then it came back as cancer. 
So I already went through two rounds of chemotherapy, mm -hmm. and it shrunk the tumor dramatically. And the doctors are impressed how it did. So I'm scheduled for like an MRI on next Tuesday to see it. And it should, should be shrunk a lot. Tell us a little bit about the treatment itself. Is it does it make you sick or is it is it hard yeah, for you? It, 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 may, it makes you real sick so you really can't do nothing. And sometimes I gotta be in a wheelchair. Hard to walk, hard to eat. It makes me real tired. And I just have you lost any weight since you started that? Yeah, I had a lot the first time I did it I lost like ten pounds. But then I gained I gained that ten back. The second one I lost five pounds and I, I gained it right back. I gained more weight and right now I'm at like 214, 215. So did they, the doctors or nutritionists give you any kind of program when you come back when you start feeling like you can eat that they'll help you, you know, put weight and size back on or? Yeah, it's basically like, I can, I can eat anything, like, any kind of thing, but like mostly like fruits and stuff. And I can't eat nothing like spicy or nothing like that or drink like a cold drink or something like that, like Sprite and Coke and all that. One other question about this and then we'll move on to, do they expect any problems with your hair falling out or anything like that with the radiation? Yes, yeah, it's, it's um, it may fall out, they say, and it may not, but mostly because like I have dreadlines, they say, it's like, it's different kind of hair or something like that, no. where it's hard to like, that for that to fall out. If it had finer hair, it would probably be good to fall out yeah, easier. Yeah, it would fall out easier, but I have this. Yeah. It's good to see that you're going to get over this and you're going to fight. And, and come back and play again and, and not let it get you down. It's, it's inspirational to see. Um, what uh, Do you think you'll be able to play in any of the spring training? or? No, right now I look like I'm going to miss spring ball. But I'll be back for like two days and stuff like that. I have like a pick line to where I can't do that in the string with. I can't even work out. So during the summer you're going to try to get over this and get with a little a strength and conditioning coach or something? Yeah. And get back and be ready for football. Yeah, I'm going to be working real hard this summer. Well, it's good to hear. Um, what what other kind of setbacks has it made? Yeah, I miss I miss a lot of school. Like, when I get the treatment, there's a time where I can't be around like a lot of people. You know, my immune system is low. I miss, like, a week or two. Or, like, a boy. Or the second week, I couldn't miss or I could go. So I just decided to go. So I heard a story. Tell me a little bit about this from your perspective. Apparently, you got up in front of your team and, and gave a little bit of a mo motivational speech telling them how you were going to fight and be back for them. Yeah, I basically told them to keep fighting and make sure they don't fall back and don't take nothing for granted because everything can come and stop what you can do right now. But I'm going to keep fighting and I'll come back. And That's awesome to hear. You're an inspiration to us all. We're going to do a little bit of a word association, if, you're, if you don't mind and uh, to where our viewers can get to know you a little bit. Um, so I'm going to say a phrase and then you tell us, just give us what first thing comes to mind, okay? All right, so uh, favorite food? Chicken. Favorite color? Red. Dream car? Uh, probably a Dodge Charger. Video game you're best at? Madden. Video game you suck at? Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Yes. Best subject in school besides football? History. What's your GPA? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that right now. You don't know that offhand? Four yard dash, what's your best time? Four, four, two. Bench press? Best bench press is two, six, five. If you had to play another sport, what would it be? Basketball. Other position you'd like to play besides defensive end? Either outside linebacker or season. Dream college. LSU. Have you verbally committed anywhere? Not yet. Not yet. But uh, I got a full rise scholarship offered me from Baylor. From where? From Baylor. Baylor? Okay. Any other contacts made so far? Yeah, I got contacts from Oklahoma, Kansas, Kansas State, University of Houston. I've been to Philadelphia campus a couple of times. And that's about it. Right that's about it. Well, you still got another year. So yeah. I'm sure you'll be getting lots more contact, especially when they see this video and, and see how you're an inspiration to everybody out there. Uh, good luck to you next season. We appreciate the interview.